Hello guys, what's going on? Figo here. And I decided to do another video, not that soon, not that... <laughs> I actually, I'm a bit speechless because of this thing. I just came back from watching uh, Warcraft. I went to see it. And I have to say a few things. And... I'm not going to spoil anything, don't worry, and uh, I've already spoken about movies before on the gaming channel, but I feel that I need to talk about this movie because this movie is getting blasted by critics. It's getting really low ratings on Rotten Tomatoes. Right now it lies, I'm not kidding, like in the 20s, I think. I'll look it up here real quick. I should have had this all ready to go, but anyway, Warcraft. It's a movie that is getting absolutely destroyed. It's got a 27% on Rotten Tomatoes, but on Fandango, I've got about 1,200 something people that gave it a 5 star ratings. In IMDb, it's got about a 7.6 out of 10 from IMDb reviewers. And according to Rotten Tomatoes, the last time I checked, it's got about a 70-something percent. So a lot of people like this movie. But for some reason, <laughs> for some reason, it just is not, the people are just, the, the movie critics are just not, not liking this movie. And I... Well, I mean, I don't know if maybe they just associate this or link this to video game movies that have been bad in the past, and I sort of had that mindset going in, but honestly, I can say that Warcraft, although it's not the perfect movie, no movie's perfect, but, and, and it's not a, um, a really uh, awesome movie, it's a great movie, I think. And the thing that blew me away was the CG. Uh, my friend Noah and I have discussions. He's not interested at all to see it. And mainly it's because he thinks that the CG just does not look at all very real realistic. I honestly don't know. Maybe it's because it just takes you out of the movie. But, but this CG, and the, combined with the motion capturing that they did, it's very good. It's sort of like the Blizzard level. You know, we all get blown away by how Blizzard does its amazing cinematics for their games. But we see movies with good CG. And you can, d d you can argue that CG is ruining movies, but I think that the human and CG elements in this movie worked pretty well. The human side, I think, might have been a little flawed, maybe because there was only one or two of them that were like really, really uh, awesome, memorable. Um, maybe not memorable, but they were good. I mean, like, uh, the dude that, <laughs> I mean, Travis Fimmel, the dude from Vikings, I mean, he does the main character. He's very it's like he's kind of very charismatic, he's a big burly warrior, he's um... I keep always... Rem it reminds me of Garen into League of Legends, but this came a lot more before League of Legends. <laughs> you could tell that they probably took inspiration from the, this huge ass alliance soldier commander guy. And, you know, and I also like uh, Paula Patton. She's the orc-human hybrid. She was really good. Um, I heard that it was apparently uh, she she's didn't do too well, but I thought she did pretty well. I mean, representing this like uh, uh, the the movie in itself, it's it's a it's very interesting because it's not just uh, the orcs coming to take the humans. It's really about them preceding their conquest and their world is dead so that's why this evil uh shamanish wizard whatever orc commander 
which magic powers uh, from the from the fell it has this just amazing power and using it to just like basically consume life to give himself more power and they invade Azeroth and there comes the horde and the horde is just plowing through uh, villages to try to construct another portal to bring more of the horde into Azeroth and that's the main threat uh, and there are some amongst the orc that don't want that which is where um what is this dude's name uh oh god the, he, he's the doc he's the dude that did uh dr doom i i forgot his name darn it i forgot him i want to i want to find out more about this because i i don't want to uh, toby kebble i think is what his name is yeah i think his name is uh yeah to, uh d d d d d d yeah toby kebble and he's the dude that did uh, Durotam, uh, and he was basically the, the almost one of the main character. I mean, he was very interesting. He's like a Chitain who wants to, you know, to help his people because he cares about the orc people. And clearly, there are moments where, <laughs> of. You know the the main villain doesn't. You know he's like in it for himself to further his power and further the horde, and he could give a less a crap of orc tradition. I mean these orcs in this movie. I mean orcs get depicted a lot as barbaric, war driven, battle driven, but in this movie they're just more depicted as having more honor. They have a code. They have things that they can and can't do and when they're done you could see it in their faces it's like no this is breaking tradition you can't do this and i honestly um i mean the the, the i mean the, the the characters themselves like goldine and blackhand every one of the orcs you fell for them and the beasts that were accompany them and uh, i mean the the world of, of azeroth it felt like a real world. I mean, you saw the Griffiths, you saw the, the 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 wolves, the big ass wolves. I don't know what they're called, but they're I'm gonna call them wolves. And uh, you know, it, it, all the CG it, it, it made. I mean, it was engrossing. And Warcraft pulled it up. Duncan Jones, uh, this guy has directed a couple of movies. I heard he directed a movie called uh, Moon. And uh, he's got other movies in his in his pocket, like Source Code. Source Code is a apparently a very good movie. I mean, the dude, that's that's what you get when you put a good director uh, on the helm of a movie that has a decent story, not a great story, but it's a decent story with what with really good CGI, with uh, engrossing music. I mean, characters that you that you care about. Um, I mean, if anything, the, the, the major flaw is that the, 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 the human characters don't do enough to sort of like differentiate themselves. I mean, yes, uh, Lothar, which is uh, Travis Fimmel's character, does have a bulk of the cool stuff that he does in the movie. But another person who got a ton of, uh, of, uh, of attention was uh, Ben uh, Schnetzer's character, who did Khadgar. He's the mage. Well, that fucking mage is awesome. And it's just, this, is, this is a pretty awesome, like, he, his acting is fine, but the, just the special effect, effects, like, you, you look back a few years ago and we got Dungeons and Dragons, and that was like awful, awful movie, uh, magic special effects. Well, here, I mean, they, they are were top notch. I mean, whoever, uh, I'm giving a lot of credit to the special effects. But I think the special effects should get at least nominated for Oscars for best special effects and best animation or, or something because these people were masters. Um, in terms of acting, I think the best ones that did here were obviously, I mean, Travis Kim, uh, Fimmel's character. He, he was pretty, um, it was like he, he had emotion, uh, though uh, Ben Foster, I hear that he was over the top as Medivh, but I thought he was fine. Ben Foster doesn't get nearly enough love. I've, I've been a Ben Foster fan. 
I've liked him in a lot of the movies that he's done. He's he did the one the the the, the Lance Armstrong. He did Lance Armstrong, and he was so scary how how similar he looked like him. And I mean, Ben Foster is a great actor, and, of course, and Dominic Cooper. He's I've liked Dominic Cooper. Here, I think as a king, he sort of just got overshadowed a little bit. But you know, as I said, the the, the weakness I think are the human characters a little bit, but. As a whole, I think that this movie did a lot more than movies like the Resident Evil series, Silent Hill, um, a bunch of other movies that have come out in the past. Definitely the Uwe Boll movies, those are garbage. In my opinion, Warcraft is undeserving of the hate that it's getting. Uh, I don't know what is up, I don't know what these movie critics saw in this movie that that just have them all like no I can't no no I, I can't no I, I don't know I don't know you can't please everybody but it's weird though right it's weird I'm, I'm this movie is gonna be I hope successful and it leaves you it left me wanting more and I want more and it's probably gonna be more it's just of course it depends on the success but I think personally, this movie is going to probably be the most successful of all of the video game based movies. There is an Assassin's Creed movie that's coming out the, at the end of the year. I am not at all too thrilled in comparison to how I was going in with this. I mean, I did not, did not read the movie's critiques for Warcraft. So, I mean, this movie is coming out in December. So they're, they're clearly pushing it till the end of the year. And that's not usually a good sign for a movie that could potentially be something good you put on in November. But whatever. It's not coming out in January, which is the dumping ground. So there is that. Uh, there's a good chance that that movie will be good. But I'm not here to talk about Assassin's Creed. I'm here to talk about this baby. And Warcraft, I think you guys should totally... <laughs> I think you guys should totally give it a chance. I enjoyed it. Uh, I gave it a 5 out of 5 in Fandango because in comp I think that as a movie, I think it doesn't get a 5 out of 5, it gets a 4 out of 5. But as a video game based movie, this did, I think, everything right. This movie gave us enough characters to care about. This gave us a story that could lead into more that you want. Not like Resident Evil, that you keep getting these fake endings and sequel baiting endings and you never care about what happens and the next one, you just want to see it to see how worse it is. This one, if they put the same amount of effort and the same amount of love and the same amount of passion that they did for the weapons, the armor, the horse armor that they put in, how it looks, and, and maybe it, it get the human characters like a lot more because this was more about the orcs. Maybe more human development for the humans. Maybe that could be like a happy medium. Maybe make it a little longer to do that. But honestly, this this movie, uh, I think it deserves to be uh, in the pantheon of the blockbusters. It has heavy competition. It's going against The Conjuring. Uh, and in the second for The Conjuring, I'm skeptical about The Conjuring, but they're saying really good things about it. It's already fresh in Rotten Tomatoes. There is that also as well. So that's it. I, I honestly, go watch this movie. I really recommend you guys to watch this movie. And here's a fun fact. I also know for a fact that in AMC, you can watch the original Ghostbusters. There's a one night showing for the original Ghostbusters. So do yourself a favor, go watch that instead of the new Ghostbusters movie because it is not a butchering of a classic and it is not totally being done just to be progressive and just all that bullshit uh, that they claim they wanna do. They're just doing it to market it to a new market but and hell be damn if it's a good movie or not. Screw it if it's funny, as long as it makes money. But this one, this one actually, this one's actually, I, I'd say go watch it. <laughs> I guess say go watch it. Um, in fact, if this movie is out 
when Ghostbusters, the new Ghostbusters comes out, go watch this one instead, seriously. <laughs> I think that this movie deserves a little love. And that's all I have to say. And I know I probably just opened up a Pandora's box about the Ghostbusters movie, but heaven forbid you give me two shitty trailers and I'm not impressed. So, sorry. <laughs> I am not impressed. I'm probably going to use a free ticket voucher to go watch it. And uh, that's it. <laughs> and, uh, but, for, but for this I wanted to do a video because a movie like this gets love. You're going to keep seeing movies like this. See, this is the thing you gotta realize, that we have the power for movies like these to keep getting made. If you do not want to return to the mediocrity that was Yuba Bowl and Paul W.S. Anderson, give Duncan Jones some love and helm him for another one. Go watch the movie, tell people what you think, tell people that the critics are wrong. I think they're wrong. I honestly think they're wrong. I mean, this isn't a perfect movie, but I think they are blowing this way out of proportion. Seriously, I think that's just my opinion. But I think, I, I believe they're wrong. It's it's exaggerated, and I think it deserves a higher score. I, I will, that's why I gave it a five out of five. As a video game movie, I honestly enjoyed it. And I hope that you guys go watch it and give it a love, give it some love. And you know what? What do you guys thought about the movie? If you guys watched it, post it down below in the comments. Leave a comment, share, like, subscribe, if you like any of that stuff for this video. And as always, Thank you so much for watching. My name is Fico, and that was my gaming mind for the Alliance. Yes, I said Alliance. Fuck the Horde. <laughs> oh, that's going to give me a lot of negative comments. Fuck the